going on YouTube welcome back to the channel today we're gonna go test out that new uh, motive fatal venom that's what it is Motive fatal venom it's like a tongue twister but the one that I drilled I wanted to test it against the uh, motive venom shock and the uh, the Supra so we're not gonna wait for Boston Bowl to open because who knows I don't know if they're ever going to open again, what the deal is there, but we're going to go take a drive and find somewhere that's open, so let's go. Let's check it out. So if, if you don't remember, I was drilling the, the new motive ball to be weaker than the, the Venom Shock. Because where I bowl, Boston Bowl, I mean, the lanes are dry all the time. And uh, the Venom Shock overhooks, believe it or not. I can't control it. But this is in uh, Medford at Luxury Lanes. This is my first time here. Their lanes are beautiful there. Absolutely beautiful. The ball came back covered in oil. This first game is just basically I'm using the ball that I'm used to. Throw some shots, get warmed up a little bit. Not that I'm really warmed up because I haven't bowled in like a month or two because of the, the China virus. Comment below. It's actually nice to record yourself so you can see, like, what you're doing. And I'm holding on to the ball way too long. I'm wafting it. Like that. You see that? Now I know. No more wafting! Okay, here's the new one. Fatal Venom. And I just threw it, so if you didn't see that, hold on. Let's go back. So the last shot I threw. So I knew this was going to be my last shot with the Modem Venom, Motive Venom Shock Pearl. I knew this was going to be my last shot. I, I, looked at exactly where my feet were, exactly where my target was, where I was aiming, and I threw it. And then when we switched over to the new one, the, uh, whatever, the other mode of Venom Ball, Fatal Venom, god damn it, so confusing, all these names, but I tried to throw the ball in the exact same spot. I mean, I'm not very good, but, you know, I tried to throw it as perfect as I could in the exact spot, the same, you know, arm motion, all that bullshit. Tried to do the same exact thing so I could see the difference. So let's uh, let's just look at it real quick. Here's the Venom Shock Pearl. Beautiful. Okay, now we're switching over. The new guy. New guy in town, same spot. Comes up short. And that's what I wanted. 
That's exactly what I wanted. And I got really good at picking up that spare, because I need that all the time. So I made a slight adjustment. And then another slight adjustment. <laughs> and another slight adjustment. And I think here we started getting the ball to work. Oh, crumbled it. But I like this ball. I really like this new mode of Fatal Venom. I think this is going to be the Boston Bowl killer. I didn't even take out the Supra because I knew the Supra would, would have just went straight. It wouldn't have done anything, so it wasn't even, it was pointless to even take it out of the bag. So this, I mean you can drill however you want to drill it, but I drilled this this new motive to be my super light oil to dry lane ball. And I think I nailed it on the head because I mean, if you go back and look at where my feet were when I throw the uh, Venom Shock versus the other one, my feet are very far apart where I slide into so and here's my spare I never miss it well I do sometimes but you know yeah so I think pretty much we've nailed it uh I wanted a weaker ball than the Venom Shock Pearl, and now I have one. And the uh, the Supra, I think I'm going to plug it and redrill it because it's almost useless the way it is now. And as soon as Boston Ball reopens, I'm going to go back there with these same two balls, and I'm going to do this again because I think at Boston Ball, the difference is really going to be seen. This, this place, not so much, because, I mean, it's, I mean, they do a very good job oiling the lanes. They do a very nice job there. I, I don't know. I may not go back to Boston Bowl now. The only reason I go there is because it's so close to my house, you know? But, I don't know. I might go to Malden from now on, and I can start using some of the, the a ASIM pearls that I got sitting on the rack over there collecting dust. I think they might do all right here. Or I might be able to bring out the uh, Storm High Road, the hybrid version. I didn't get the Pearl. Maybe I will one day, but I think the High Road would do some shit here. So yeah, just a quick uh, recap. The uh, Fatal Venom Man. I, I am really liking this ball. I am I am digging it, man. And I've never, never been let down by the Venom line. Never. Like, you kind of know what to expect before you even roll the thing. And that that's kind of why I kind of figured the way I drilled it, I kind of almost knew what it was going to do before I even put it down on the line. And, I mean, it did exactly what I wanted it to. This cover stock is a lot cleaner than the older Venom. The older Venom has a much stronger pearl cover stock. So, I mean, it, it gets down the lane fairly easy. But when it catches the dry down at the end, I mean, the thing fucking takes off. And that's the problem sometimes for me. Uh, especially at Boston Bowl where the, the lanes are a little drier. Or maybe... The guy, I was talking to the guy at this place today, and he's like, oh, it's the pattern that we use. And I'm like, I don't know, because here, I, you know, the balls came back, and, like, they were almost dripping. Like, there was a time, I could see the whole track on this ball, and this is a light-colored ball, so it's not easy to see the oil rings on a light-colored ball. You see them on darker-colored balls, but... Usually it's a lot harder on these uh, lighter colored balls, but I, I could see the whole entire track flare, everything. I could see it all, <clears throat> which was kind of cool. But I, I really think that this is going to be my go-to 
when I go to Boston Bowl. And uh, I'm excited that I found this new place in Malden so that if and when I want to try some of my Pearl ASIMs or something, that I have a place I can go and try them out because they have a much heavier volume oil pattern over there. And it's nice, to be honest. It's really nice. Yeah, so I mean, you could probably get this ball to, like, if, if you're looking for a stronger ball. Remember, I put a, you have to go back in the video and check, but I, I believe it was a five and a half inch pin to PAP distance. So I wanted it to be clean through the fronts and I did not want it to overreact off the dry. And that's exactly what I got. And I am, ugh, this thing is gonna destroy Boston Bowl. Watch out, Boston Bowl. You're gonna get bit, buddy. But I mean, if you wanted something stronger, can you get this ball? Just put a three and a half inch pin to PAP distance on it, layout. And I'm sure it'll come off the dry. Very nice. Very, very nice. So yeah, that's it. That's my, that's my two cents on the mode of Venom. Uh, Fatal Venom. Tongue Twister. It was easier to say Venom Shock Pearl. Now we have Modal, Modal Fatal Venom. <laughs> Whatever, but yeah. If you found this helpful, hit the uh, subscribe button, hit the bell, give it a thumbs up, and we will see you next time.